in the mid game, I want you to think you get every wave, then you can go do stuff like dragon or whatever, and then you go back get your wave. You cannot lose any minions, okay? So even though you haven't died, right? Even though you have zero deaths, you should have 170 CS at 16 minutes, almost 17 minutes. But if you have 130 CS, that means you missed 30 to 40 minions. Yo, imagine if you had 60 more CS. Imagine if you had 60... Look at that. Imagine you had 60 more CS. Or if you were level 13. Actual one-shot here with no no crit? I'm not going over until, until I patch already. Look. 5, 6. Q. Let's go. I'm ready. I ghost in. Oh, headshot target. Goodbye. <clears throat> Kanuna, I put a trap down along the wall. See that? I, while I was headshotting that guy, I put a trap down along the wall. Talia steps on it. Goodbye. Right? Oh, last guy. One hit. E flash. Goodbye. Agreed? That's how much damage you have when you have level 13 with Infinity Edge. Okay, so... We have Silver Dustblade K gameplay. Yo, I should make a video. Oh my god, he, he hit the 7 item spike. Oh my god. Lord Dom, BT, so boots, rapid fire, so Dustblade Eclipse. Yo, I want to see this game. Yo, 7 item spike, bro. This is the new true Exodia. And then he actually bought a pot after. I'm pretty sure he was one-shotting the entire enemy team on headshot. Okay, let's take a look, yeah? Um, he's got rumble support, which is a little bit interesting, but I guess I'm down. And then he said his comments were, as we watch this, his comments were, Context, the classic, get incredibly fed and land and throw the game and lose. I want to know how I could have carried harder. So I guess we could skip to the mid game. Um, but I should, we should check it. We should check a little bit of the laning. We should check a little bit of the laning just to make sure we're covering all our bases here. Right? So are you guys down for sound? You guys want sound? I'm down for sound. He doesn't have music or anything. Didn't dodge the Yumi Q. What's going on here? Um, this Yumi Q looked kind of weird. Oh, he didn't really see it in time. That's fine. That was pretty crazy. Uh, max range Yumi Q. That's fine. Zoning level two. All this is good. Uh, he's probably just gonna crash and ward. Right, there's nothing to do under tower. Wow, he went for a deep river. Interesting. I definitely think it's more likely they come from tri bush. Um, going for a headshot on Jinx there. I'm down. Okay, but guys, eventually you're gonna need to learn how to start dodging first. Okay. Um, my sister threw up and I had to help her. What the heck? Uh, I hope your sister's okay. Uh, I would not cue the wave. Uh, when in doubt, just like last day with auto attacks. This, see, this is what I'm saying. Like, this we deep river ward, it's hot. It's like, so here's the thing, okay? Like, in, in an early gang situation, the jungle is 80% of the time gonna come through tri bush and 20% of the time gonna try and circumvent that and go through river, okay? So, this is where you want the ward. So, your ward was like super deep, right? So you're missing time to see the the jungle on the uh, in the in the bush gank, right? So check it out here. Jinx does something really weird by walking up to you in a full cannon wave, and you don't see the jungle for like a million years because the ward doesn't cover it, right? If you look here, the ward didn't even spot the Wukong, right? So that's why if you watch all the um all the like Korean players, all the challenger players, they always put the ward uh, closer to the tri bush, right? But enough so that you can spot the river gank as well. Okay, so here you should just fight, right? Um, down to fight with the minions. You can run from Wukong and then fight after. He's already used all his abilities. So I'm down to fight this too. Uh, the main thing to note here is Q is all your damage. Correct? So when you Q, it has to be decisive. Okay? I want you to think your Kaelin Q is like Blitz Q. You must hit it. If you do not hit it, you do not get to win. Okay? So anytime there's like wukong and shit or people that can dodge it, you just wait. You must wait until there's, there's no way for them to dodge it. And oftentimes you're waiting until they're going to run or they just hella, they just hella chase you. Like, I want you to think your Q's used at the last second, right? So you see this. This man still is his clone. So you Q this, you're never going to hit him, right? You hit the clone, right? And so if you take a look at this fight here, it's an it was like 90 damage. Is that 90 damage? Is a flash auto attack Q going to kill Wukong here, chat? What do you think? Straight up, lethal, right? <clears throat> lethal potential, right? So... Yeah, you must save Q, okay? Until you can actually hit it. Um, down for a forbidden combo here. You just crash this and go home, but I'm down for RNG forbidden combo. You need to go home here. You try to push cannon? I mean, Wukong was low. I'm kind of down. Oh my god, you stay another? Holy shit, you're greedy. I mean, if you get away with it, I'm pretty down. 
I push this one. I guess Yumi did base, so I guess you can actually just push this and go home. Holy shit. Oh my god, Wukong, Wukong's here again. <clears throat> yeah, um, I don't know why we didn't base, but um, uh, I think I think we're getting punished. Oh my god, we're going to get away with this. Trap, headshot, very nice. Wow, we got away with it. You know what? You're kind of pissed smurfing. No change is necessary. Wave is a bit fucked. You could say... Um, you have two options here. One is call your jungle and then fight this. And then two is just FF the wave. You should definitely call your jungle, right? Uh, there's no reason not to. Um, we don't want to... We don't want to just like lose a wave for no reason if we base. So you should call your jungle here, fight for the wave, right? You can't just you can't just give up six minions, guys. Look, guys. If you have a choice between giving up six minions and not having to give up six minions, you just call your jungle over. They can't dive, right? Even even if even if your jungle doesn't even come, if you call your jungle, you're like gonna kill them, right? But if your jungle doesn't come, I'm down to just defend the dive. There's no dive here. We can't just give up six minions, okay? Like remember, we need to scale. Right, and you play any anything in the bot lane with ADC roll, you're already down infinite XP from other lanes. You're gonna lose a full wave's worth of XP. That is not good, right? So you need to get every single wave of XP and gold. That's like your baseline for a lot of these lanes. Um, maybe in like more in lanes that are like high pressure, you can you can afford it. You're expected to lose some waves, right? Um, but this was zero. There was there was no threat of them diving us to stop us from picking up the wave and a half. So. Yeah, we need to make sure we're not losing anything. And your fiddle did come. Look, this is lethal, right? If you're here, we just fight. They die. So yeah, uh, definitely got to make sure we don't base and lose minions for free, okay? The only time you base and lose minions is you have no choice. Like, they're formanning you. Your your team already made a topside play. You have no choice, right? Stuff like that. Um, but oftentimes, you do have a choice, especially at this rank, okay? I'll take a little bit more care last hitting there. Honestly, not really that important. Uh, you see the Wukong. Let's take two plates. I'm down. Fast forward. Two plates. Beautiful. Get the wave as well. Now we go ward, right? Wukong could have... Uh, I don't know what Wukong did, but he could be... Um, from If he died or whatever, he's coming from spawn, right? So it's time to ward Tribush. Good, good, good. Very nice. Very nice. Um, that was a great... That was like a perfect last minute. That was perfect. And then slow push on cannon. This guy's smurfing. Um, this, is, this is amazing. 10 out of 10. I uh, don't know why Rumble's hitting this fucking cannon. I would ping him to stop. Because uh, he's ruining the slow push, correct? We're also not defending the ward here. What the fuck is going on here? Um, This is really weird. Trap always, correct? Oh my... How do you lose this game? You're smurfing. What is this? That was a great trap. <clears throat> 10 out of 10. Alright, now you gotta worry about mid and jungle. Are agreed? Mid and jungle are here, by the way. Uh, I don't know. You see Lissandra here? I know you have a pink ward here. But uh, sometimes they, uh, I, I, maybe not this low, but sometimes they circumvent it by going around. I think it's highly, it's, it's possible, unlikely though. So up to you. Um, I'm down to say she's not coming, but that's up to you. RNGQ, I mean, I guess I would, you should, what you can do here is um, if you want to, um, if you want to punish this, you can't just you can't just Q, obviously, right? You need to because you we just saw what just happened. It's like impossible to hit. So what you need to do is limit her movement with trap and net, right? So these are the classic. I'll trap here. I'll trap here. See what she does. E W, right? Anything to uh, limit her movement to as few spots as possible, and then you can fire a Q. Okay, um, and then that's lethal. And then even better, if she auto attacks you, you try and get her to auto attack you, right? I would, I would unironically, so like your net pushes you back like this much, okay? So I would stand here and try and get her to auto me so my ranged minions aggro her. And every time she auto, she's standing still. So it gives me net opportunities, gets me out of tower range, then cue her, right? So that's a nice trick you can, um, that's a nice trick you can do. And just step up um, to where your net will take you out of tower range, okay? So you could have killed her there, but it's fine. Just some um, Kaelin things at the tower you, things you can practice. Not sure if I would push this, okay? Because um, if we take a look at the situation here, she can't lane. So unless you're going to dive, I'm down to not push, right? Because if you push, like, here's the thing. You want to, like, w you want to get more out of this situation, right? Let's say she's one, she's 1 HP, basically. But your jungle is top, so we can't dive them, right? Their jungle is coming. So what do we do? If you push, you can't dive because you're afraid of their jungle. Right? So, what do we do? We just wait. We just stack a wave, keep the wave in the middle, and try and beat their jungle out. Right? Because let's say you push, you, you, you can't do anything at the tower, right? Um, until you see what their jungle is doing. 
So pushing here does not really make too much sense, IMO. Um, you got to remember, guys, you need to play around what your jungle is doing. Your jungle is basically the entire team. Okay, now you see the Wukong. You can do whatever you want. Um, yeah, now you see Wukong. Now you can now you can push and dive. It'll pretend to dive or something, right? <clears throat> this makes a lot of sense now. But yeah, until you see Wukong, um, it did not make too much sense. IMO. Because you would just give her the entire uh, 6 minions worth of XP. Remember, when ADC is down XP, it's like... In it's insanely doomed. Because not only are they already like 3 levels down on the solo laners, it's like even more now, right? Maybe 4 levels down. <laughs> Alright, you can crash this. You can play Dragon. I'm down to hit tower 2. One more hit for the plate. Um, can't take the can't take the tower on this, so you can kind of do whatever you want here. Um, base is not an option here because you're gonna lose six minions, right? So we should be looking at dragging here and push. Hey, guys, we cannot be basing when they are just gonna push a normal wave, and you lose six minions. Okay, so the strategy is gonna be if you want to base, you crash the wave before the cannon by default. That's your default. You do not base. On a normal wave like this. Because basing on a normal wave is is essentially just losing 6 minions for free. Okay? <clears throat> so yeah, don't base. You, you don't even like... I mean, Fiddle's not even interested in this dragon, I guess. You need to pick up your wave. This... Whatever this is, you cannot lose 6 minions for free, guys. Okay? You cannot just lose... We just lost 6 minions balling for free. It's, it's not worth. <clears throat> not worth, guys. Not worth. Okay, fast forward. Crash, go home. Okay, we need to go home. This tower does not... Look, no one is taking first tower anytime soon. We need to go home. Like, this is your time to reset. Okay, so we, one, one of the things we said was boat up a wave, crash on wave 2, base on cannon, which is wave 3, right? This is the other one. Build up the cannon wave, crash, go home, okay? Um, and those are your two, like, default base timings. So if you don't do this, you're not basing for 10 years, okay? So we... So I guess we, I mean, I guess we got the tower, so it's actually not bad. Let me see this. How are we getting the tower so fast? Why can't I see the game time? What's going on here? How do I remove this shit? Oh. Oh, I guess the tower is just, uh, you guys, you got somebody played so fast. There's no armor on this thing. Which took the tower. Holy shit. That's interesting, actually. Hold on. Let me see this. So a tower without any plates at 10 minutes can die in one wave. Okay, good to know. <clears throat> Alright, go home here. Dust blade, boots, it's GG. We go mid. We're so far ahead of the curve, it's unlosable, right? Guys, right? We're so far ahead of the curve, it's unlosable. I mean, knowing you guys, you guys died at like Lissandra Ulti or Wukong, whatever. Okay, you need to like... This Lissandra's not even putting up a fight. Free kill, I guess? Well, I, th I think she's gonna like try and turn around and kill you. Okay, let's talk about this. First, <clears throat> you headshot a minion when uh we're fighting. That's a no that's a that's a bad that's a bad one, right? But it's fine. Okay, let's talk about this as well. Um so the style of this build is Q. All Q and R damage. Okay? So if you watch your auto attacks here. You're you're giga fed kind of, and you did 165 on hit, okay? Uh, not ideal, right? Uh, so what do we need to do is find a way to hit the Q. I don't care how you do it. You can trap here and then Q down this line. You could walk up instead of autoing and then net and then Q. Uh, it really doesn't matter, right? Just find a way to hit the Q, okay? That's sh that's what your goal should be, um, if you want to do damage. If you did not want to do damage there and you're just waiting to see how she responds, auto wing is totally fine. But if you want to actually kill her, you need to find a way to hit the Q. Okay. Um, okay, this is just a tower here. Uh, against engage, melee engage that will force on you with flash. One of the things that I've been practicing is you need to pre-trap before you even see them to where you're going to go. So you can like trap here, trap here. And I say, okay, if I get flashed on, I'm running over here to my traps. Right? That's one thing you can do. <clears throat> But um, I don't think Wukong is going to engage here. But I know he will later in the game. Guaranteed. Okay, so that's the trick you do. Let's fast forward here. You need to get the mid-wave. I don't know where you're going. Good, good, good. Let's get the mid-wave. Good, good, good. One more wave. Go home. Uh, you don't have to go home here, actually. But you do have Dirk on base, which is pretty bit, pretty, pretty good. And your Yasuo is basing. But it's okay. We just stay mid. That's fine, too, honestly. 
Um, you just need to find a timer to go home eventually. Not probably not for a long time. Yes, was coming out of base here. Um, okay, roaming top is really good here. You get the ulti for assist, assist and or kill. Um, <clears throat> oh, nice Q in the face. Good stuff. Okay, you can. Uh, okay, so let's talk about this. So Yasuo covered your mid here, right? So what you can do here is since Orn has the base, we can just push top and get the tower, right? Um, so you can you can push top and get the tower here. You can't you can't just go back mid. Where's Yasuo gonna go? I mean, if Yasuo if you want Yasuo to go top, I guess we push top, get the tower base, contest dragon. All this is good. You can base contest dragon right now. Anything is fine. I don't think you should share lane though, which is what you're doing here. This makes no sense because Orin is staying with one HP. I'm not really sure what's going on here, but it's fine. Small mistake. I'm not. So it's not even a mistake. It's just not not optimal. Because after you kill this guy, look after you kill this guy. We're at 1413. From here until the dragon, you made zero money. Agreed? <clears throat> 1413. 1413. 1413. Let's fast forward. 1413. We're at one in one minute you made zero gold, zero XP. That's a problem. Okay. Remember, we are making we need to make as maximum amount of gold and XP. You must. Because your end goal is to get to level 13 with infinity edge. That's your make that's honestly your your first end game goal is to get there. Okay, we're f you are fed, and you're four levels away. You're like Cassidy. Okay, you this is your main priority. Okay, so yeah, um, remember fourteen minutes was the last time you killed anything. Was, was the last time you got XP and gold. This this fight here, uh, you shouldn't even pathing here. You're, you, I mean, you could try, but Orin's not even here, so this is just kind of troll, right? Never ulti if it's block. Never, never ulti if it's blockable. Never, 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 never. Um, unless you want someone to block it, never ulti if it's blockable. You just stun yourself and lose the cooldown and lose mana. Triple, triple loss. Okay. Um, <clears throat> yeah, we need to go make money. Look, it's four. Remember, fourteen minutes was the last time you farmed Dominion. All right, right here. It is now sixty-two. You went two minutes without making any gold or XP. Huge mistake. Right. So if we were, if we felt strong earlier and we don't feel strong in the next few minutes, it's because we made exactly zero gold and zero XP. Um, so yeah. Um, remember, we are a seven item build. Like we, like you think ADCs need five items? Bro, this build is seven items. You cap out at infinity straight up. You cap, you unironically cap out at like, like 20,000 gold or something. You know what I mean? Like it's actually an insane amount of money. Like, uh, what's the average item cost? Like, I don't know, maybe like 2,500 times 7, bro. We cap out at like 18,000 gold. Think about that. That's so much money. <clears throat> put rank on screen. Okay, I, I, can, I can put rank on screen. Um, Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Um, Maybe uh, maybe like this. Wait, hold up. Like this. Oh, my God. I can't even. I can't even. One sec, one sec. Here. Rank, silver, silver three, right? Okay. Here. <clears throat> um, yeah. So, in the mid game, I want you to think: you get every wave, then you can go do stuff like dragon or whatever, and then you go back get your wave. You cannot lose any minions. Okay. So even though you haven't died, right? Even though you have zero deaths. You should have 170 CS at 16 minutes, almost 17 minutes. But if you have 130 CS, that means you missed 30 to 40 minions. 30 to 40 minions is what? Like six waves? You missed five or six waves in this game without dying once. If you think about it, okay? These are five to six waves where uh, they they could not force you off the waves and you're just losing them straight up. Um, you guys are trying to help this guy. I'm down to ulti, but uh, blockable by Yumi, okay? This, this doesn't work. Um, I guess <laughs> Yumi, Yumi did not block. <laughs> Yo, uh, I don't know about the chasing here, but uh, actually I'm down. Let's let's farm bot, right? Okay. And then, uh, sure, all this is fine. Base go mid, sure. <clears throat> did you hit a clone here? What's going on? You seem to be getting tricked by the clones against Wukong. Um, it's a clone until you 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 see him not being a clone. Nice free kill, free kill. Wow, game's over. Game is over, surely. Oh, well, maybe not. We kind of, we kind of, we kind of poor. I'm not like even after you got those four kills, you, even though sorry, even though you got those two kills, you're you're like just average right now. I think, which is insane if you think about it. 
for like average amount of money right now. I think. Oh, oh, E W. Oh, Q. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. That was a great net. Okay, but remember the purpose of this build is to hit the Q, right? So the trap was beautiful. Now you limit the Jinx movement with an E W, and then fire the Q, and you would have killed. I promise you. I promise you. I promise you. Would have killed a hundred percent. Um. Yeah. N T. N T. N T. N T. Practice your E W. Okay. Uh, go and practice tool. It's what you just did was perfect. You just missed the E W. Okay. It's trap to limit movement to hit the E. Then you hit E W to limit movement again, and then you Q. That would have been perfect combo. <clears throat> perfect combo. Okay. No siege. I don't know what's going on here, but uh, you're not taking the tower anytime soon. So you guys, all you guys here, the only thing you guys are do here are just you're just gonna die. Okay. Um, I'm not really sure what the plan is here. Unless oh, Rumble's Faker. Oh, free kill, I guess. Never mind. Okay, I'm down. Yo, don't let her go on you there. Oh, that was Monka. You hit the Q! Flash kill! Nah, it's fine. Um, you could have gone for it there. But, uh, honestly, it's fine if you don't. I, it's, technically, you get baited when she, uh, ults you if you do that. But, um, if you hit the Q, I, 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 I would, I would just... If you're going to make a Q play, I'll just Q E flash or Q headshot or something like that. But it's fine. Honestly, you really shouldn't be going for anything here. Just getting the Jinx kill is already free, so this is fine. All right, let's 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 clear the wave. You are getting engaged on here, as we already knew, because you guys stayed at the tower for some reason. Um, so for these traps, these traps, I, I in my opinion, will never work, okay? So you're trapping your teammate. Not a bad idea against melee champion, but it's a very, like, temporary trap. And so what I mean by that is this will only work for, like, half a second, Okay, traps that will have staying power or stuff along the walls. Okay, so I would be... You, this is okay, okay, but I will not get in the habit of only using these. You need to make sure you're, like, trapping along the wall in your exit path. Because, uh, watch this. Look, she doesn't step on this. Now this trap is useless for the entire fight. No one will ever step on that, I promise. But watch this, Wukong. He's going along the wall like this. Okay, so these traps have staying power during the entire fight. Whether the enemy team is going backwards or forwards or whatever, right? So if you watch this Wukong's path here, right? See, look at this. He, he he went around the wall and then like this, and then slowly angled off into you. So if you are hugging the wall, he will just follow the wall the entire time. Always trap along the wall, <clears throat> okay? Um, yeah, we should not be staying infinite though. I don't know what that was about. All right, we go home here. You staying like that will make you lose a wave, by the way. Look at this. Because you have the base on this incoming wave. Yasu, Yasu's going to pick it up. You're, you're, you're just going to lose a wave, right? So now you're you're down 50. You're down 50 CS, by the way. <laughs> it went from... You know, every time you lose a wave, you just add 6, right? Add 6 to the minions you could have had. <clears throat> they add up very quickly, I promise you. Because if you if you do it once, you do it the entire game. If you do it the entire game, you're, you're missing like, a, like an item's worth of gold. Um, okay, in this fight here, you need to push mid here. You shouldn't let Yasu just... You need to push mid here. Where are you going? <clears throat> this is your money. Okay? You need to push mid here. This is your money, by the way. Um, but it's fine, I guess. Um, okay, so we're fighting for this, uh, we're fighting for this dragon here. The only the only threat here, the only two threats are Lissandra and Wukong, right? So just melee trap. So we talked about pre-trapping, right? So all you have to do is just okay, Lissandra's, you know, coming from bot. You stay on the left side of the fight. You trap along the wall on your exit, on your kiting path. Okay, so if we're playing dragon here, we just go like this, like this, this, and you stand here. Like, um, you can stand here, and then we'll put traps in yellow. And you're gonna like trap this, trap this, trap this. You see how like your positioning, you put the traps between along the wall between you and the enemy engage. And if the, you have no idea where the enemy is, they're gonna flash on you because like talent count or whatever. You just, like trap close to yourself, on top of yourself, along the wall. Okay, <clears throat> and you stick to the wall. Okay, and then let's watch what happens here. Pretty sure. Uh, I saw spoilers earlier. I'm pretty sure we just die to um, Wukong Engage, despite the fact that it's 5v4. Okay, in fights like this as well, <clears throat> um, you guys have no problems killing this thing, right? So you should be saving your damage for um, the fight. And what I mean by that is, let's say you're playing... Um, let's make it super obvious, okay? Let's say we're playing like... Um, Let's say we're playing Kog'Maw, okay? You press W, you hit the dragon, fight breaks out, now you have no W. Okay, congratulations. You just made yourself worthless for the fight. To do. You're killing the dragon faster, but the speed at which you take the dragon is not relevant, right? So this is the same thing. You're going to use Headshot and Q on the dragon, but the speed at which you take the dragon is not relevant, right? You need to save these for um, the actual fight itself, right? So, uh, yeah. Um, 
here, uh, definitely would just be conserving all resources. And then against so this, this is the same thing, right? We, you're like walking up to him, but remember, your job is to kite until you can find a Q angle. Like, what's the point in walking up? You can charge headshot on him, but he's got all his abilities up. So he's just going to flash on you here, right? If he flashes on you here, what do you do? You just die. Um, remember, the whole point of the build until Infinity Edge, level 13, is Q and R. That's it. You press Q, you hit the Q, you press R, you kill a bitch, call it a day. Then you hit IE with level 13, you charge up headshot, you headshot them, you look for a net headshot play, you look for a trap play, and you call it a day. Okay? Here, we're not level 13 with IE, therefore, it's just defend yourself with trap, limit movement with net, hit the fat Q. That's it. So if you watch this, uh, you're not going to do it. I'm pretty sure you hit the clone, he's going to engage on you. There is no universe. I have no idea how you're supposed to hit the Q here. So you're just going to die. Agreed? So if you look at this, it's not even close, right? But if you look at his health, this is almost exactly one Q's worth of health, by the way. Okay? So if you pre-trap yourself, okay, if you pre-trap yourself, he steps on a trap, Q headshot would have killed him. Guaranteed. Um, and the only, that's the only way to, you, you, this is the only way to defend yourself. Okay? <clears throat> so, yeah, let's keep going. This is kind of how we throw for sure. He just got to shut down. Um, and our income is not looking good. And our XP is not looking good, right? Um, so yeah, you need to, I think you need to prioritize. The PvP so far has been good, except maybe um, some kiting ideas with trap. And maybe some um, more Q-focused ideas. Um, you're like walking up to auto attack him. It's like not relevant. Auto attack is a charge up headshot. And your headshot does no damage right now, right? So not even relevant to auto attack them. The most relevant part is to hit them with abilities, right? So yeah, um, I think you're a little bit a little bit too focused on that. Not saying you shouldn't auto attack when it's free, but you're auto attacking when it's not free, right? <clears throat> um, I'm not really sure what that trap's supposed to do because Gwen's immune, but uh, not bad. Q here. Oh, auto attack is okay, I guess. But remember, always always be looking for the Q. Um, you guys Baron here or what? Oh, we're not Baroning here. Push mid and Baron. Um, you need to push me, by the way. <clears throat> okay, let's talk about this. So this is going to be the exact, exact same thing, right? Um, in order to do damage, you must hit Q. How do you hit Q when this guy is fucking moving around everywhere? Traps in net. So you should be dumping traps everywhere along, like, kiting paths or his escape path, right? And then uh, you hit the EQ. Okay, so if we watch this, we must limit his movement somehow. And you notice how, like, he's hugging the wall here? If you hit the net, you must hit the Q. Oh, we hit the Q. Not bad. <clears throat> not bad and we hit the trap he should die now right nice see hit eq is lit <clears throat> not bad not bad not bad push mid now right it's all about making infinite money good push one more mid good uh you can take tower if you think it's uh i'm down to take tower here it's just lissandra right uh okay don't die here don't die for it though oh we're dying for it oh we are dying for it oh okay nice trap Nice Q. Oh, you missed the Q. That's kind of awkward. It's okay. Okay, we don't take the tower. We have a problem with hitting the tower, I think. Um, I'm pretty sure uh, if you did it extremely fast, you could have gone for it. But I think there was a there was a bit of... Um, it was just not possible. It was just not possible, actually. Never mind. Yeah, it's all about making money, okay? So this tower is... Mid-tower is fake money, Okay. Um, and it really is more about X XP is more important than money. Okay, level, level 13. So after push mid, there's a crab, blue buff, wolves. I, I, I don't really care what it is. You need to get something. Okay. Um, let's fast forward here. Uh, you can't base here. I think they just baron, right? Oh no, Jinx is dead. Wait, what? Oh, how did Jinx die? Oh, oh my god. She stepped on a trap. Oh my god, dopamine. You see that trap damage? Yo, imagine if you had 60 more CS. Imagine if you had 60, look at that. Imagine you had 60 more CS. Or if you were level 13. Actual one shot here with no, no crit? What? Wait, how is this a one shot with no crit? With level 13, that's crazy. That's crazy. Okay. Um, if we have IE, we go home, right? I, I can't tell. Oh, we have IE. Perfect. Wow. Now we win the game. 
the only way to lose is Lissandra flash ulti, Wukong flash ult. And then both of those are outplayable with trapping yourself. So it's one. Agreed? <clears throat> you guys are pushing mid together. Kind of ARAM style. It's fine. Okay. Fight here. Let's go. Nice. Wukong ulti is gone. We win the game. I'm down to just fucking ghost run him down. <clears throat> okay, you need to ulti this Jinx, please. Thank you. And then net. Oh, no net. You need to run until you have net. Okay. Five seconds. You're approaching without net. She's going to ulti you, but she's going to ulti you. All right, ready? Headshot. No, wait, hold up. You're coming back for Wukong or what's going on here? That's a nice trap. I like that a lot. Q first. You should always Q first, by the way. Oh, wait, also, you didn't kill him. What's going on? That was a great trap and a great Q, but always Q first. You should. You need to right click him. Where are you going? You're going the wrong way here. You went the wrong way. Why'd you go the other way? Oh, no. You were right clicking him? But you clicked on the ground on accident and the game made you go around. Yeah, okay, just walk this way and at, and attack. You yeah, just walk. You, you should always be moving. You should always be moving um between auto attack to prevent this from happening. Um so yeah. So you'd be like, oh, okay, like input move command here and then attack, stuff like that. Whatever. Let's not worry about this too much. This is, don't worry about that too much, okay? I think you have bigger fish to fry. That was a great trap headshot, okay? That was a great try. Yeah, netting forward. I mean, you can try, but I'm pretty sure he just walks away. Yo! What are you doing? Guys. Auto attack is fake. As you can see. Auto attack is fake. Right? Like, okay, so what changes when you hit the IE in level 13? Headshot. You play the game with your passive headshot. This is not a passive headshot. Therefore, there's no flash play. Agreed? Um, yeah, that's all. I, that's pretty much all I have to say. If you have six items, auto attack, not fake. Okay? Uh, well, it, it would be fake on Wukong, but it would not be fake on Jinx. One auto attack, one regular auto attack on Jinx with six items is 800 damage. Okay? Um, but you're... But that's... Like, okay, so this is the, this is the way it goes, okay? You, before level 13, all your damage is Q. Okay? And R. Then your next upgrade is at level 13... 13. Then it's headshot. Plus, plus Q and R. Okay? Then, when you have Exodia, everything works. Okay? Auto attacks. Auto, auto attack works now. Okay? So, it's like Q plus R, then you focus on headshot, then you focus on everything. Okay? Um, so, yeah. We, we do not flash for a regular auto attack. This, 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 not, this will never work. I mean, can you even crit and kill him? No, you can't even crit and kill him, I think. So, yeah. Okay, let's go. Uh, we need to uh, go mid here or go uh, to this dragon. Wait, so what happened here? Why are we... Why are... So, we push... We got this top tower. That's great. That's 600 gold, by the way. <clears throat> Wait, what? Oh, we co oh, Rumble shared money. Okay. I was like, what the hell? Rumble shared money. <clears throat> so, you need to go home. You need to go home here to, to dragon here, right? So you usually need a base into dragon here. Um, you ended up like walk taking a tour of Summoner's Rift somehow. Headshot on Jinx, yo! You didn't want it. <clears throat> you need a headshot, someone here. Nice Q. Headshot, headshot. Oh my, oh my. Okay. Honestly, it's a little hard because you have no ghost, and it is a four v five. Um, so I honestly, I, I can't really fault you for playing a little conservative. I think the real problem is you didn't base and come with your team. Honestly, if you had base, come with your team, you would have, you could have taken the 4v5. I'm down. Or you say, don't fight the dragon and just farm for all these camps. You could have done that as well. Okay. But, uh, <clears throat> but the, uh, what's it called? Uh, this 4v5, 4v5 at a bad angle, unplayable, I think, right? Like, you felt like it was unplayable. You are correct. It was unplayable. Also, on trap, you should Q. Um, I know you reverse order, but it's fine. Yo, if that headshot had crit, uh, Lissandra dies there, by the way. So, a little bit unlucky. I think on crit, she dies. Um, so, a little bit unlucky, but it's fine. Uh, you need an EW. If you don't EW, you're just going to die. Uh, you need a trap. You're s along the wall. Along the wall, please. Okay, nice. Okay. Coming back. Uh, if you don't stack headshot here. Hey, yo. You just headshot. You just headshot a wolf. Okay, 
you need a headshot when you're walking around no matter what. Okay? Because the headshot is, like, defensive. You headshot people so you can kill them, right? So if you headshot a wolf here, that means you can't play the game until you auto-attack something five times. Okay? So, uh, you should always be walking around at five stacks or a headshot. No exceptions. Okay? So here, auto-attack fake, right? Look at that. We can try ulti her. Free kill? Oh my god, let's go. Alright, we go mid here. Stack up headshot, then kill the wave. Okay. Kaylin tricks. Do not kill the wave because you one-shot the range creeps. Get headshot while making the cannon low. Kill everything. And that's how you uh, have headshot up all the time. So if you kill first, you cannot make... You cannot force like a six count headshot. You cannot like force four auto attacks to perfectly last hit everything. It's too hard, right? <clears throat> As you can see here, let's watch. See, we're missing one auto attack, right? So... <clears throat> Alright, auto attack the ward at least. Oh, we didn't auto attack the ward. Feels bad. Um... Okay, we can stack on this wave. Oh, free free headshot. Oh, NT. You tried to go for Q first. That was good. Um, he had Merc Treads though, so it's a bit unfortunate. Uh, is that Merc Treads plus like Legend Tenacity? That was a little disgusting. He like was not rooted for any amount of time. Also, you cannot just ignore the mid wave. I think the reason why we're not just like flat out one shotting everyone is because you've missed a hundred CS at this point. A hundred. 100 CS, okay? You need every single wave. Uh, they see how, like, how you're like trapping this and doing whatever? You could have just gone mid, you know what I mean? So, default mid, always. Um, <clears throat> okay, let's fast forward. That's so funny, because like, even though you have 10 kills, you're somehow you're not like strong enough, because we missed 100 CS. Is that, isn't that crazy? Okay, so your job here is just trap line, right? Yep, let's push mid. You cannot headshot a clone! You headshot a clone! Please tell me that wasn't a clone. You headshot a clone! No! Alright, you gotta run until uh, they step on trap. Agreed. Um, you're dead. You, you're dead. You're just dead. Okay, so let's talk about this. So, um, two things here. Okay. Um, your headshot play... This is your, this is your main play. Because it's undodgeable. So if you grieve this, it's not good, okay? Second, we must trap, we must trap, enemy engage. It doesn't matter how, you need to do it or you will just die, right? You, or you will not be able to play the game. So pre-trap, Dustblade, the added benefit of Dustblade gives us ability haste. So our trap, we actually always have a lot of traps available to us, right? So if a fight breaks out here, you're like, where should I stand? And uh, how can I uh, put traps to protect myself? So if you want to stand here... I'm gonna kite up. We're gonna trap like this, right? We're gonna trap here. You know, always need a trap to where you're going. Okay, so if we watch this, uh, yeah, headshotting Wukong is really bad, but um, if we're if we're looking like this, okay, and you want to go this way, you trap this. Agreed. You trap this, and then maybe you save one trap for net, right? Maybe you trap here, right? You need a trap there, and you need a trap how they're gonna engage on you. If you don't, you will always lose. I promise you. And then you spend time auto attacking. Okay. Like, it's fine because you need to get your headshot back, but um, you need to make sure you're not getting engaged on first, right? So here, imagine if this guy ease onto you when you're trapped. He dies in two hits. Headshot, then net, then Q, then the net's headshot, and he's dead, 100%. Right? Um, so yeah, you need, uh, you need to make sure that uh, we are... Um, make sure we're trapping engage, okay? Very important. Uh, yeah, there's, there's no counterplay here if you don't uh, if you don't trap his engage. The the, the trapping it the engage is the counterplay. <clears throat> oh, it's a loss. Still win, still winnable, I guess, but uh, not winning anymore, obviously. <clears throat> Need Lord Doms before he can um do anything now, unfortunately. You need red here, you need mid here, anything here, okay. You see how like you're always late to the wave, so somehow people are hitting your wave, right? Like you already lost two minions here, right? <clears throat> also, the whole headshot stacking trick, okay? Don't forget. Oh, we missed the cannon. Oh no. Don't forget the head headshot stacking trick. Okay, so let's watch this. See this? If you think a fight's breaking out, trap. 
Trap, 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 trap. Okay, maybe not this one. I don't like that one. Okay, you trap these three, and this is the perfect line people will take to right click you. If you do not trap when a fight breaks out, you will not be able to play the game when they force on you. I promise you. It's not playable. Okay, so let's watch this. You see the Wukong's pathing straight onto Fiddle in the middle, and then he's going to run along the wall. Okay, he's going to run along the wall. Okay. So if you do not trap along that path, you cannot play the game. Look, he literally ran across all of all three traps we just pointed out, right? So this one in the middle, he just like did not go along the wall, but he went into this, into this, into this. Okay, you must trap on the 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 what is this? The convex convex portion of the wall. Okay, like this. <clears throat> <clears throat> so yeah, we're just auto losing. Um, we're doing zero damage every fight because of this, right? Oh my god, we're actually so unlucky as well. You're not even somehow you haven't hit a single headshot crit. What is going on? You have sixty. Oh no, you have forty percent. Oh, but I saw like three. I saw three trap headshots and none of them crit so far. A little bit of RNG going on as well. That's a little bit unlucky. That headshot, that headshot crit at least. <clears throat> Close? Not, no, 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 no. We don't press R unless it's lethal, okay? Do not press R unless it's lethal. You're just stunning yourself. <clears throat> this is it. He's dead. Net. Oh, no. No. You missed lethal. Okay, you see this happening? If you have lethal, you take lethal because you go invisible, right? Um, and how is this lethal? Anyone know? <clears throat> Remember, headshot is a play now, right? So you have passive headshot. And then you have a net headshot besides traps, right? So when you walk up net, one shot. She would have died. 100 percent But auto attack fake. Look, I want look look at this. Look at auto attack. Auto attack is not a play. Look. It's a good free play, but you actually you had you had a real play. Alright, you have real plays available. So <clears throat> net headshot, lethal. This guy is lethal too. Just stand your ground, stack on him. Why? Because you have traps in front of you, he stops on a trap, he's dead. Okay, it's all like when you get to IE level 13, I want you to completely focus on trap placement and net headshot crit and passive headshot crit. Your Q, Q worthless now, unless on squishy. Okay, Q worthless now, unless on squishy. Agreed? <clears throat> oh my god, he went, he went, you're dead now. It's so sad. Oh, run, 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 run. She's gonna... Oh, my God. You have a net here? Net headshot? No, it's fine. Okay, we survived at least. <clears throat> Let's watch this. You have four, five, six, and the headshot. Q fake. Q fake. Q fake, okay? Why is Q fake? You need to find a way to get a headshot and headshot and trap placements. Q fake. Qs and auto attacks are fake now, okay? We're at the point of the game. We're at the point of the game with IE and level 13... And people are faster, so obviously you can't hit Q. And frontline, this takes no damage from Q. Q fake, unless on backline. Okay, um, you're, I, I'm fucking hitting the minions here before Orin kills them. Like you need to have headshot. It doesn't matter how you get it. You need the headshot, right? <clears throat> oh, one one hit, they die. Uh, oh, the Q fake. Oh my god. Okay, it's fine. Let's fast forward. Okay, we're Lord Dumbs now. Now we actually can one v five. On, oh my god, and the Orn upgrade. Okay, so if you lose this, it's because you did zero damage to their front line, right? Okay, let's watch this. Um, This is like 3v5. You can literally win a 3v5, okay? So let's see it. <clears throat> this is a great trap, by the way. This trap right here, very good. Now, in order to just complete it, you go like this, this, this. Like, remember, Wukong can dash over this, okay? Don't forget that. I've made that mistake before. So just remember that he can do that. Um, But this is a good start. <clears throat> Um, okay, you didn't, okay, obviously we know what the problem is, right? He, you didn't, you didn't trap, you didn't, you walked up and then realized he was just running at you and then you trapped too late. Pre-trap. You don't pre-trap, you lose. You just walked over it. Um, so yeah, now you're just dead because you cannot, you did not have headshot ready. You did not have trap ready. And that headshot is not enough to kill him. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Also, how do you not have headshot ready? Let's watch this. This is the same thing. Okay, right here. You need to hit six. You net this. You net this cannon. 
so that you can keep your headshot. Or you cue the cannon. Okay, that's the trick. Okay. That, you see that? That is a 1,000 and 1,100 damage. No crit, by the way. Okay? That is, that is a, uh, imagine you hit Jinx or Lissandra or Yumi with that. They are fucking dead, straight up. And then if you hit Wukong with it, then you can combo with Trap to kill him, right? So yeah, okay, let's fast forward. Yeah, we just die here. Feels bad. Oh my god, they end? No! They end! Okay, yeah, basically, um, I think you had the most problems when you actually hit your item spikes, funnily enough, because this is when it should be easier, right? But it, not necessarily easier, it just changes, it just changes the way you play. Um, but it's technically easier because auto attack cannot be dodged, right? So, the main thing to look at is, um, don't think you had a problem with accruing money from kills, but we have a problem with not, um, or a problem with ignoring waves for some reason, okay? You need to get every single wave of XP and gold. You cannot just, cannot, not, cannot just, you cannot just lose or, like, do something. You cannot just, like, run over to trap this Wukong when you're losing mid-wave. It doesn't make sense, right? Um... So, by default, you must get every single wave of XP and gold. Okay? That's number one. Um, number two. When you hit your item spikes, a fight breaks out, trap yourself immediately. If they have any sort of melee all-in, melee engage, it doesn't matter what it is, trap yourself immediately. Right? To wh wh wherever you are. Okay? So, uh, let's say, like, uh, let's just, fight. just go to a random fight. It doesn't matter. Okay? Let's say there's a fight here. Okay? And you're like, okay, my plan is to hug this wall. So then, uh, or maybe you hug this wall. The tower is a classic, okay? Then you trap here, trap here, run up that way, right? Or let's say my plan is to go through their jungle. I, it really doesn't matter what it is. We trap here, trap here, trap here. Agreed? Um, you trap their pathing along the wall to your uh, escape route, okay? Um, that's the first thing we need to uh, work on in fights, okay? Second thing to work on in fights is you need to have headshot ready at all times. When you clear waves, auto take the wave down. Until you have headshot, then use E and Q to fix the kill the rest of the minions. Um, and then lastly, in, uh, in like the dragon fight, I think it was the most clear in the dragon fight, um, the first death probably, like this one, <clears throat> like this, your job is to just wait until you can hit the headshots in the queue, okay? Wait, I'll, first one is I'll play their engage, then the second step is to do the damage, and oftentimes they go hand in hand, because I'll play the engage involves them stepping on trap or stepping on net. Okay, and if you cannot accomplish these goals, then you cannot do damage, which is what we saw in the uh, latter half of the game. Okay, so <clears throat> yeah, and, and this build is in, it has enough damage to three v five here, like straight up. Like you trap everything, uh, a Q a headshot into Wukong into a net headshot means he dies. I guarantee you, hundred percent he dies. Right. Um. So yeah, there's no, there's no. It's not that it's impossible to kill him. It's that we didn't hit our stuff. Right. <clears throat> so yeah, um, and you'll notice his pathing here, right here, and right here. He was along the walls at these two points, right? That's important to take note of, okay? So yeah, I think those are kind of like the main ideas. Um, yeah, miss less money so you can be even more rich. Yes, yes, yes. So that's, that's a big one. I think those are kind of like the main ideas I saw. Uh, a lot of it was PvP-based when you had the items. Um, but uh, studying the PvP is easy. Honestly, you can just watch me when I hit, when I hit this four-item spike. These four items, right? Um, you should watch how I play and how I kill people. It's pretty much the same thing, right? Like, let's look at let's look at look at an example here. Um, just like uh, uh, this game, right? Let's just fast forward to when I have items. Okay, let's watch this. I guess. Man, I can't believe I can't find it. What the heck? You see how Q is fake, but net headshot, trap headshot, not fake. You see that? <clears throat> you see this? At your item, this is the, I. You, we have the same amount of items, pretty much. Look, the headshot is almost all of Anivia's health, right? And trap headshot does the rest, right? And this is what you're looking for. Okay, I'm two off from headshot. Stack off karma somehow. I need. I need to hit something here. Now I have regular headshot, right? Watch me one shot Ezreal here. I should have used the regular headshot probably. And then uh, against Wukong, I immediately trap myself and run along the wall, right? And then it's like, oh, I feel like I can't kill him because he's just going to one-shot me. We just run. No problem. Where, 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 where is he? 659. All right, look at this. Okay. I did nothing until my three items spike. What did I say? Play around passive headshot. Traps. Net headshot. Let's watch. 
Watch me stacking. A fight's breaking out. I do not give a single fuck until I get headshot ready. Okay? I'm not going over until, until I have headshot ready. Look. Five, six. Q. Let's go. I'm ready. I ghost in. Oh, headshot target. Goodbye. <clears throat> Katarina, I put a trap down along the wall. See that? I, while I was headshotting that guy, I put a trap down along the wall. Talia steps on it. Goodbye. Right? Oh, last guy. One hit. E flash. Goodbye. Agreed? Is this easy? It's, ex ex it's exactly what I said, right? I stack headshot. Come to the fight. Headshot. Lay traps next to the wall. Look for an E flash. Right? I should Q first on this, but it's fine. <clears throat> That's how you kill everyone. This Yumi just dies to a trap. XD, XD, XD. Goodbye. That's the quadra. Okay? That's how much damage you have when you have level 13 with Infinity Edge. I did not do anything up until this point. And then I killed four people. Okay? And that's kind of how the build works later in the game. The Q, not relevant unless you combo with Headshot Crit. Like, look at this. Look at this. The Q, this, the Q is only relevant in order to finish off Talia. I did not start with Q on anyone. Right? We can we, pretty much you just save Q to combo with your trap, and yeah, that's it. That's it. Okay, so does that um does that help you out? Do you know what you need to work on now? Any questions? Does it make sense? You guys, you guys understand how to play the build a little bit more now? <clears throat> Why level thirteen? Your trap is maxed at level thirteen. Your Q is maxed at level nine. Your trap is maxed at level thirteen, and your headshot passive is maxed out at level thirteen. If you didn't know, if you check out the Kalen Law wiki, they don't tell you this in game. But Kaylin's passive headshot is has max damage at level 13. It's like level 1, level 7, level 13, right?